Hey everybody, my name is Steve Cooper. I am the food app review critic for tokemag.com. And today I am reviewing the Central Market Hatch Chili Pocket Cookbook. That's a big mouthful. Uh, for the iPhone. Um, the Central Market is a grocer in Texas that has a annual Hatch Chili uh, recipe uh, contest as well as a big Hatch Chili Festival and in honor of that they have launched uh, a new app. Um, this app is essentially just a simple recipe guide. It has, uh, when you open up the app, there are starters, mains, sides, desserts, and drinks. Uh, you click on any one of these navigation items, uh, so let's say starters here, and it will give you a list of the various recipes. Um, You'll notice on some of these they have uh, little crowns, and those crowns mean those are contest applicants uh, from previous festivals. Uh, so you click on one of these recipes. Uh, I just clicked on the Colt 45 ceviche. Uh, this has two tabs. Uh, one tab is for ingredients. The second tab is for instructions. It's a very nice list here. Um, it has 15 limes, a pound of mahi-mahi cubed, and so you just scroll up and down to see the different recipes, or I'm sorry, the different ingredients. Um, this is also one of the recipe contest finalists. Um, back from, uh, see, now this is one of those things where you see it teases the recipe, who, uh, who the recipe contest is, and then the date gets cut off. And there's no way to, I'm, I'm clicking, and there's no way to see what date that contest entrant was. Um, the instructions, I clicked on the instructions tab and it tells you the cook time is 18 hours and 20 minutes and then it just gives you a simple breakdown of uh, how to cook it and one of the things I can say about this app is most of the recipes are very simple um, if you just go to the grocery store and get yourself some hatched chilies it's more than likely that they will have an app for you with just the rest of the stuff that you have in your kitchen um, and the top uh, right corner of your screen you'll notice there's a little star uh, this star, when you click on it, it adds it to a favorite button at the bottom. That's your global navigation here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click my favorites. And you can see I have already added some recipes to my favorite list. Uh, the most recent one, Colt 45 Ceviche, now appears at the top. And it also shows the star next to the recipe as well as that crown that I mentioned before. If you want to delete in or modify any of these, well, you can't modify the recipes, but if you want to delete them from your favorites list, there's a little edit button at the top here that you can click on, and it'll get rid of it for you. Um, the last main portion of this app is the more button down here. So you have recipes across the bottom, which is all the recipes. You have favorites, which I just showed, and then the bottom right one is more. And then the bottom right one, it has a couple things here. You have the locator for the central market stores that you can find in Texas. Uh, you also have the Hatch Makes History down here. And that one really is um, a story of how the Hatch Chili and Central Market uh, blossomed their relationship over the years. Um, and then you have these two top ones here, and those are both videos. Um, when you, the first one is prepare to hatch, and the second one is three ways to hatch. So I'll just click on one of them really quick here, uh, prepare to hatch. And this is one of the things that I'm dinging this app for. Um, it's a free app, so it's hard to get too upset about this. Um, but what happens is when you click on it, it launches YouTube. And when it launches YouTube, it kicks you out of the app itself. And so here it is. It's, I'm going to... I'm going to pause it so it doesn't uh, talk over me here, but it launches the video. The videos are really well done. They look really great. Um, they're produced well. The audio, eh, so-so, um, you know, but who am I to complain about something like that? Uh, but you'll notice, watch this. I click, I click done here, and it kicks me out of YouTube, um, and I can't, I can't get back. I can go back into the other recommended videos from YouTube, but I can't get back to the app itself. So I actually have to click out my central button here, click out of it, and then go back to my Hatch Chili app. Um, overall, and then I, I, I didn't mention this in the written review, but when you start up the app, it looks and it starts collecting new recipes. Um, 
this is one of those things where it just spun and spun and spun, and uh, it, it, it just took a long time, so I, I skipped it, and I've tried several times, so I don't know if this is a glitch, uh, but, you know, again, it's a free app, so I can't really get too upset about it, because I click the skip button, it launches right into the app, and here we are with the recipes again. Uh, wrapping up here, the one thing I'd like to say about this app, if you are interested in cooking with hatch chilies, there are a ton of of options here. Um, there are some really funky stuff. Uh, desserts, drinks, uh, hatch chili cupcakes, uh, honey beer hatch sorbet. Um, I mean these are things that if, if they work and you cook them and uh, you know you have guests over or what whatever the case may be, I mean you could really knock somebody's socks off with some of these things because who who's making hatch cupcakes, right? So um, on that basis alone, I think it's worth a download. There's nothing out of your pocket, so it's free. It doesn't have any of these add-on where you have to spend 99 cents to get more recipes or whatnot. It's really a self-promotion for the Central Market uh, to kind of raise awareness about their Hatch Chili Festival. But in doing so, they've provided, I think, a pretty good amount of value for this app and what it is and what it provides. Um, it misses some of the basic things, like there's no pictures in the recipes. Um, you can't uh, send a, a grocery list uh, to your spouse when they're out at the grocery store or you know when you're sous chefs in your restaurant. So it misses some of those points. But again, this is a free app, so we'll, we'll give it a break there. Um, but overall, it works really well. Um, it's designed very clean. Um, overall, I think it's a pretty decent app. Uh, you know, it's nothing to rave about, uh, but if you have somebody who likes spicy food, uh, really likes hatch chilies, um, you know, give this a download. Uh, overall, I am going to rate this a 3 out of 5. So uh, download it, check it out, go to tokemag.com, leave a comment, let us know what you think, and I hope you, uh, I hope you check in soon for the next app review. Thanks.